Hi, this is Daryl Barnes with Barnes Basics, and I am in the middle of a kinematics drama. I was stung by these yellow jackets, and I ran south out of this area, and then I turned west. And that was what I did to escape. This was the second time I had been stung. So to really get the clue on even on this question, problem 4A and 4B are the prelude to this one. And so these problems just kind of build on each other. And so anyhow, listen to the uh, question. It says, if he turned west at the end of his acceleration, constant acceleration, by the way, and ran at the same constant speed for three seconds, how much more distance did he cover? In problem 4 a, I calculated displacement when I had a constant acceleration and an initial velocity. And I used the D is equal to VIT plus one half uh, AT squared equation to do that along with this one to calculate it a little bit before that. In 4B, I used the final velocity equation, VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2AD to calculate this velocity. So I was moving at this speed and I just moved for three more seconds. And that's the question here. How much distance, not necessarily displacement, how much distance did I cover in these three seconds? And so I just solved for D. So with D is equal to average velocity multiplied by time, let's plug it, chug it, and crank it. So D is equal to the velocity 2.8 meters per second. The time is 3.0 seconds. We are going to use the TI-84 Plus and the Inspire CAS to work these problems. And remember that I need you to have this across the top of your TI-84 Plus. So if you hit mode, you will be taken to a screen where you can select all these with your nav pad. And then to get out, you hit a second mode uh, that will would quit that. When it comes to the TI Inspire cast, we hit home or home, which is the on button, and uh, we are going to we are going to be within a multiply, divide, minus, plus. We're going to be in a regular document here, and so let's make sure that we uh, go back. Let's go back home, and then let's check settings, and if we go to document settings. We can use our nav pad to go through and we can we can make sure that we have float six degree normal approximate. Make sure you go to the bottom, tab all the way to the bottom, or use nav pad all the way to the bottom, go to OK and click on that so that you will secure these values and we can have a good experience to get out of this. Uh, actually I'm just gonna hit escape to get out of this. I'm gonna go back to the bottom left. A document screen for a math screen. I'm not going to use the scratch pad screen. So in the TI-84 plus 2.8 multiplied by 3.0. This is a pretty simple, pretty simple question. We got 8.4 meters in a direction of west. That is the distance traveled. If we're talking about distance, maybe the direction's not going to matter, but I can't imagine that your teacher's going to mark you off because you put more information here than was really requested. Displacement would call for a directional. So in our calculator, in our TI Inspire, let's also say 2.8 multiplied by 3.0. Hit enter, I get 8.4. Everything here has two sig figs. These are both whole numbers, so they have two significant figures. We've got a zero trailing a whole number behind a decimal. Those are two sig figs. So we're going to report our answer in two sig figs. So uh, the interesting problem is coming up, 4D. We're going to actually do a, a kind of a two-dimensional analysis. And we're going to, I think this is kind of a fun next step, 4D. What is the net displacement from the original site? So here we go.